Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Hey everybody, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to do your episode, let's see, what number are we on now for your love saga, your love messages, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome everybody. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy. Um, you guys, do you know I was just going to say happy birthday? Why would I do, why would I, what's, I keep feeling like it's Virgo season. What the heck's going on? I don't even know. Listen, if you guys want to get personal readings for me, I'm going to start um, opening up more time slots for this week. Um, so definitely click the link in the description box below and you can get your personal reading with me. Um, let me see what else do I have to say. How about I stop talking? Let's get into your reading. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, let's see. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. Whoa. Queen of Pentacles, there you are. Four of Swords, and I'm like, okay, Five of Cups. All right, Virgo. Bottom of the deck here. Ooh, three of swords. Okay. Oh, somebody is really heartbroken. Now, this doesn't have to be in continuation of yesterday's reading. Okay, yesterday, I don't know, that was a pretty good reading. But somebody is definitely feeling very insecure because of um, either a break or a separation. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of resentment, perhaps. Maybe it's you. It could be you, or it could be somebody that you're connecting with here. Um, somebody put the kibosh on something. I don't ever use that word, but for some reason, something about there's restrictions or someone, Virgo, some of you looked at your person and said, I'm not interested in this victim card that you're playing. Goodbye. Some of you just stood up for yourselves and said, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in, in, gosh, Virgo, I'm not interested in these um, poor me things. I mean, you hurt me. You're the one that hurt me. I, listen, you guys, I don't know what's going on, but something kind of feels like that. Like somebody, I know, I hate when readings start off like this, but I just have to go the way it goes. It just feels like somebody that you were connecting with in the past um, maybe blamed you for why something didn't work out when actually that's not the case. Um, now give me just a second here because they're giving me a whole bunch of different messages coming in here. For others, I'm also getting this energy of um, It feels like somebody was self-sabotaging a connection or a relationship and could not get themselves and it had to and had to end the relationship. Does that make any sense? Like like somebody that you were connecting with was self-sabotaging and holding back and that and oh there they go. Again, no, it does feel like, it feels like the day before, like maybe there's a con continuation of the day before. This person was holding back. There was a fear of getting hurt. That's it. That's it. That's all they're telling me. All right. We're just going to leave that there. We're just going to leave that there. Let's take a look and see what your love messages are here. Okay. Unrequited love. Okay. It feels like it's going that way when spirit wants to talk all right we need to talk heart to heart conversation honestly discuss feelings with each other somebody here is coming in to talk to you oh there was a control issue somebody was either very controlling or had a control issue or was very jealous or thought there was a third party thing so they held back from communicating with you they they're they're holding back now from communicating because they're they have it in their head that you're with somebody else that's what it is okay and they think that you're not interested that you, that some of you might some of you might be saying oh, there's just nothing here between us it's just not going to fly some of you might be in that position 
All right. So let's take a look at your person here, okay? Because I feel like you guys are going to actually have a conversation. I feel like they want to talk. I feel like this person wants to talk and have a heart-to-heart -heart and open up and talk about this relationship because they feel like you guys were building something. I don't know, Virgo, did you end something with them or were you forced to end the relationship? If you were forced to end because they were stalemating or ghosting you, then I know you're kind of like, this doesn't make any sense, but some of you got over this. Some of you got over this relationship. You got over, you like cleared it out. You got rid of the energy. You got over this person, but they, not over you. Okay. They're not over you. They were still trying to build something here with you. This person, I feel, wanted to be with you, but they kept blocking why were they stalemating? Why were they blocking? Maybe insecure, suspicious, be, always suspicious, always thinking something was going on or you were doing something. Look, a five of cups. You didn't do anything here, Virgo. You did nothing wrong. This person was just suspicious and jealous and felt like they're like you weren't interested in them like they made it all up in their head gosh and some of you I hear you just like yep and I left and I'm not dealing with that <laughs> and I'm glad it's over all right let's see six of wands ten of swords yeah so this person feels like um I feel like you know they're sad but I feel like they're trying to make a decision. I feel like they, they feel like there's not enough here to keep it going, yet they still want to talk to you. They want to have this conversation with you, Virgo, about your relationship, about how they feel about you. They still feel. I do feel like some of you don't have feelings for this past person or this person. Okay? E either you got over them or this is somebody new and it just didn't go deep enough. And you just were like, well, it's whatever. It's not meant to be. Okay. But it feels to me, whoever this person is, the only court card here is the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, it could be another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. But let's, let me just take a look here. Let me see this heart to heart conversation. What is this heart to heart? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Some of you are connecting with either a Virgo Taurus Capricorn or this person comes across as being someone who is like all strictly business. Almost feels like they have no heart. I mean, they do have a heart, but they just kind of don't wear it on their sleeve is how I feel. And they're coming in to talk with you, like to express their feelings, which it feels like it's very difficult for this person. This is not their normal way. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they want things to change. They want to talk about making changes here in this relationship. Well, good for them. I mean, I, I, there might be some of you that actually left this person and you went with somebody else. And so there's a conversation about that. Okay, and this might be just a small, but this person feels betrayed because maybe you chose somebody else. Maybe you were forced to just let it go or it just wasn't going to work out. You guys, the unrequited love, it just wasn't going to work out here. But I feel like this person, <laughs> Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands, I feel like um, that's making them more competitive towards you now they want to fight for you because they feel like maybe there's somebody else in the picture which hmm and six of wands can be about you know like sportsmanship and winning winning a trophy being the winner that could have a lot to do with it but this doesn't really feel like an ego thing to me with this person. This feels like this person is like really sad. They're really missing you. It's truly like they're not showing 
um, that they're grieving or that they're missing you. They're not messaging you saying, I really miss you. I, uh, I'm crying. Where, where are you? They're not giving you any emotion. They're blocking that. Okay. Um, but this nine of wands and the eight of swords makes me feel like this person's really, mm, they really are. They really are missing you. They really have their heart broken. And that, listen, I'm not trying to give you guilt here. <laughs> you know, that's, it, it's just the messages that I'm picking up. It doesn't mean you need to contact them. It doesn't mean you need to do anything. It's, we're just having a chat here, Virgo. That's all. I'm just reading some cards. That's it. And this is what I feel like is going on with this person. And for those of you, I know, like, you know, it maybe it makes you feel good to know that this person's kind of crying over spilled milk here with you i do feel like they're gonna come in and talk to you and because i feel like this person you are like a wish come true for them here with the nine of cups this is the wish card very positive energy with this person now we have leo yep three of cups they want to have a reunion they want to come back your way the wheel the wheel can represent the wheels of the car, get things in motion, travel. They want to come talk to you. Definitely the Eight of Wands is travel. This is air travel, fast. Okay, Seven of Wands here. Nothing's going to stop them. I love the cherry blossoms on this card. Isn't that pretty? Nothing's going to stop them. They're going to fight to get back to you. They want to talk to you, have that conversation with you about their feelings, how they feel about you. Okay, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, again, they see you, I mean, you know, they know, you know, that you are in that Pentacle energy. They know that you are. They know who you are. Some of them might even know you're a Virgo, but they know, but they see you more as the Empress. They see you as, you know, when, whenever I have the Empress on top of the Queen of Pentacles, male or female, it doesn't matter. It feels to me like this person, they see your glow. They see your, lo your level up, you know. I love doing readings where you guys have actually taken the time to, like, do you and take care of yourself. I mean, it's so inspiring. And the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, yeah, this person feels at peace. So it's kind of like they definitely don't want to let you go, but that gives them a sense, gives them a sense of control. But I also feel, because the Five of Cups is here again, that this person, it feels like this person is coming to terms with they can't control you. And I feel like control was an issue in this connection. I really do. In the relationship, or even if you just met this person, you could sense they had control issues and you were like, no, I'm not getting involved with that, right? Whatever the, the thing is, I feel, I don't know if you said to this person they're too controlling, uh, they're too suspicious or jealous or what have you. Um, but you got to know, like, the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. So this is a card of healing. And what's happening here? Taking a look. This conversation that they're coming in to tell you, that they want to tell you is that, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I do have a con control issues and I'm doing something about it. Right? I'm getting some healing. Four of Swords is rest, healing after the Three of Swords, after like some heartbreak or an argument or something that might have happened. You know, um, this is a card of obsessiveness, possession. Okay, maybe your person was possessive with you. Um, and great. Okay, good. They're going to get some healing. They're grieving. Okay, great. They should be if they were trying to control you very very bad bad so good for them okay um it still doesn't mean that you should do anything <laughs> okay let's get a couple of um clarifiers here what were they trying to control what was this person trying to control 
Oh, the Eight of Swords again. See, this person was very insecure. At least this is why they were doing it. This person controlled by being the victim. So I don't necessarily feel like they came right out and told you what to do, but they may have tried to make you feel guilty or they tried to um, play the victim card. You know, this is to me, this Eight of Swords is always like the damsel in distress on the tracks, right? Somebody help me, help me, save me, save me. That's codependency right there, big time. And that's a form of control. Silent treatment, ghosting is a form of control. Um, passive aggressive behavior under, and we had this conversation a couple of days, a couple of readings ago. Um, this kind of feels like a continuation of this. And I know some of you are like, I'm still not going back and that's fine. But this is basically what's happening here. This person must have had something happened either you said something or they are like a, a lightning bolt came down and hit them in the head huh wow nope jesus came on in <laughs> this is a cup of faith and love and blessings this is a very spiritual look at all the lotus okay so some kind of blessing some of you have been praying for healing for this person for yourselves well guess what there's the cup as I always say, my cuppeth, spilleth, and runneth overeth. And this is like a new beginning is happening here. This is, um, I read this somewhere, the Ace of Cups. It said, key developments that have a very strong emotional impact. All right, and that's what the Ace of Cups is. Potential here, there's healing happening with this person. You know, um, do I think your person was the big N? Like, I mean, I would say, were they like a sociopath? Eh, I don't see that unless I have like a king in reverse, which I do, or a queen in reverse, which I don't. I feel like this person is just heavily damaged um, by something or someone. Like I said, maybe a mother or father or their environment had a heavy effect on them. And there's the devil. There you go. Okay. Well, for some, you know, I. so here's the thing. If you were dealing with someone that was like a narcissist or something, can they change? No. That Will they love you? No. But can they change their behaviors? Yeah. Can you manipulate them? Easily. Because they're codependent. Um, but you'll suffer too. If that's... I wouldn't recommend going down that road. I would just say keep it moving there. But um, for some, I don't really feel like that's what the case is. I feel like this person, um, everybody has moments of weakness. And when we're weak, um, that's when the devil finds little ways in, right? And that devil card is showing up here because your person had some moments of weakness and allowed the demonic forces to come in and and take over okay gambling drug or alcohol addiction pornography all that stuff you know had an effect on this person where it became addictive okay and here's justice okay so this person is now in this position so we have scorp no capricorn I almost said Scorpio. Well, maybe some of you are connecting with, with the Scorpio. We have Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so it's doing the right thing. It's it's This is karma. So, yeah, it kind of feels a little bit like a continuation somewhere. I guess you guys will know somehow, some way. Let me see this unrequited love. Whose energy is this? Okay, the moon. Ooh. Well, mostly because there was deception. How can we be on the same page or know there's attraction or anything when someone's deceiving us? Because the truth isn't, you know, that's wearing a false mask. The truth isn't coming out. Piscean energy here. Two of cups. Okay. I feel like there was a desire here to come together, but that devil was... You know, the devil can come in forms, like the devil card can come in forms of anxiety, suspicion. Suspicion is the work of the devil. 
you got to know that like if you are someone who is suspicious all the time you got to cleanse that out because that is the work of the devil suspicion anxiety uh, the devil is the father of lies um, this person was infected by all that stuff okay and, and listen you guys everybody has their moments everybody has their weak moments and i feel like in this connection or in this relationship the weak moments were jealousy and some of the other things that might have occurred um possessive behavior that kind of stuff it just gives me the creeps a little bit just gives me the creeps all right let's see here so i'm definitely feeling like there's a light at the end of the tunnel here between you and this person and if you want to go for it <laughs> you know as i say in my readings all the time um i'll never tell you what to do all right they're just throwing some cards i was careless with you but i'm still so attracted to you okay yeah they were careless they were careless with you virgo let's see I wish I could take back my words. All right. Well, there might have been some harsh things said between the two of you that caused, you know, the three of swords can be an argument card. It doesn't always have to be a third party. It can be just things that are said that are just really harsh and not nice. Like, a, you know, because the sword is about communication, thoughts, words. Um, mostly, I feel like this person thought that you had somebody else or they were thinking that or they always think that and that actually uh, the suspicion um has caused some type of a break i wish i could share my good news with you well i guess the good news for them is like they wake up like they finally see that that there's no room for that devil energy in a relationship you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I don't know what to say. They really are struggling right now with what to say to you about this. There might be a level of shame included in this. Um, hmm. Vulnerability can be completely open with this person. I feel like this is for them that they need to know. Virgo, if you want them to talk to you and you know open up about this stuff i know some of you are just like no go away we're waiting for the singles cal but others might be like yeah i do really want to talk to my person i want them to open up i want i want us to heal and hey no judgment everybody's got their own thing here you know um and you want some of you do want them to be vulnerable and open up and tell you like what was going on what happened so that there can be healing okay so let's not judge everybody else everybody's got their love thing going on there's something here for everyone let's see what else okay sometimes i hear your voice in my head creepy creepy and i pretend but i pretend that i don't care okay it's kind of sad but right leap of faith that was was that yesterday i feel like this person is going to take a leap of faith let's get some charms and um open up and have that conversation with you what am i forgetting oh your advice okay let's see virgo's advice okay oh there's your knight of cups okay well um so i feel like and this is simply guidance and advice you do what you want but i feel like be open to receive the love that's coming in from this person um rushing in with that cup the healing they're coming in i want to heal this i want to fix this your advice is to receive it um or hear them out or hear what they have to say okay now this is general so apply it to you don't get mad at me 
<laughs> apply it. If you've already had this conversation a hundred thousand times and nothing changes, then this is not for you. But for those of you who are just, you know, first time around, second time, you know, then that's for you. Okay. Wow. Two nights. Okay. So if you receive this love that's coming in from this person, choose to respond with intellectual responses rather than emotional ones, okay? And review your options carefully. You might be a bit defensive and you should be. You should be, this is kind of like on guard, okay? They have to be vulnerable and open up and tell you everything that's going on. You don't have to apologize for the things that they've done that's they have to do that okay but be kind of like clear cut with yourself decisive focused and stand your ground like be on guard about what's coming in about what they're bringing here to you have a have a they want to have a heart to heart with you you might not be ready to open up your heart because there are going to be these are going to be like sudden unexpected changes coming in here from this person and you may need to like, okay, I got to sort this out here first. Yeah, see, four of cups. Some of you might be, um, pay attention if you're indifferent, pay attention. This could be the opportunity for things to act really get healed in this relationship. This might be the one magical opportunity make sure you're clear that this is what this is because if you're not sure and you say no you're not doing it you know you might miss something great but if you're a hundred percent sure you shouldn't then you know then you shouldn't even be listening to this okay um but for others make sure that you're clear okay because there's a surprise Look at him sneaking up behind that tree to surprise because I feel like you guys are kind of like, you know, um, so distraught um, or just kind of like, no, I, you know, I can't do it or you're just maybe bored or you're just like indifferent. Maybe some of you have gone numb, you know, and then here comes here comes the spirit with the cup. You know, this is your person coming in with that cup. And it's going to be a surprise. Sudden unexpected changes and surprise from this person. Like a surprise apology. And really not just words, but like backing it up. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Okay. Yeah, this person's like still very obsessed with you. Again, they know they have an issue with that. I told you. Um, and they're trying to heal that because they have like some controlling, they have control issues. All right, let's see. Wow, sugar skull. I actually remembered it this time for October. Okay, something going on with the sugar skulls. Maybe you're painting them or you're putting them up around your house for um, Dia Dia del Mertis. I can never say it. Just sugar skulls. And then we've got like a footprint, doggy footprint here. How oh, sweet. Huh. Oh, oh my goodness. Pretty white and purple unicorn. Wow. This is definitely going to feel like a unicorn moment with this person, the way they come in with this apology. I kind of feel like it's just going to be very unexpected. Even if it was just an argument and the things they said to you were very um, controlling and obsessive and mean and cruel and they're regretting saying these things to you, I definitely feel this person is going to come in and try to like heal things. They, they, you know... Uh, definitely try they know they can't take their words back but i feel like there must have been an argument or a break or something happened and you left or you just some of you just decided this isn't going to work 
you know, and you're moving on or, you know, or you were just forced to leave because they never, you had something happen and then they just left you out in the, the cold there and maybe you were just forced to leave and, and this person, I feel like, kind of just thought maybe you went with someone else. But whatever happened, even if you didn't, and even if they just think it, now they're like, oh, I really messed up. I really screwed up. You know how, like, they get you get that adrenaline when you have an argument and you think you're right. <laughs> and you're all proud of yourself because you're right and you feel self-righteous. But then after a while, you're like, <laughs> now I feel maybe I shouldn't have said that, you know, that kind of thing. And I feel like that's what that person, that energy was like, oh, I shouldn't have said that stuff. I've lost Virgo. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a unicorn moment. I don't know what's up with those puppy prints, but something here with puppy paw prints or doggy prints. Maybe somebody has a tattoo. Dog prints, puppy prints. That's pretty cute. I saw somebody, they stamped their dog's um, paw print in the ink and then put it on the paper and then they got that tattooed. Um, and then when their, you know, their dog, I guess when their dog passed away or something. <laughs> it's kind of kind of like they do with kids. They press their feet in the, in the mold and stuff or their hands in the mold <laughs> or the, the feet on the birth certificate. I don't know. So I mean, do that with a dog. I guess, um, or somebody's coloring sugar skulls, or I'm not picking up a lot. That's really all I'm picking up with that paw print. So if you, they'll do a little interactive game here. If anybody here, because I know sometimes in the comments, like if, if you intuitively pick up anything with that paw print, definitely leave it in the comment if, if the, in the comments if that's resonating for you. I'm not picking anything else up but that. Maybe somebody's pet has passed away, or there's something about a pet. Okay, and it doesn't feel like any of that relates to the reading, but that's okay. All right, let's go over to the singles. you guys how is everybody hope you're doing well somebody commented on my channel that I need to make my videos shorter um, because I'm going on and on and on about the same thing and not to be if not to take it offensively but because she really loves my readings and I was like that's not a backhanded compliment hello I can't stand that. That is so passive aggressive. You know, I, you know, I really like, you know, just so you know, you, you really suck, but don't take it personally because, you know, you're still great. No, you don't get to tell someone that they suck and then tell them they're, they're great at the same time. That's an example of a backhanded compliment, you know, where they, ins they, they compliment and insult you at the same time. So I deleted her and I, I've reported her as spam and I blocked her. And if she shows up on my channel again, she's going to, she's not going to happen. I can't stand that crap. You know, you don't have to listen. How about this? If you don't like what, if it's too long for you, I don't know, you can get a personal reading. I do do them for 30 minutes and you can split it 15 minutes each. Like I'm going to change my entire channel and my entire style for every, like what I'll be like a chameleon if I if I went with what everyone wanted I'd be all over the place okay <laughs> I'm having a rant I'm gonna have my rant you know because I just think it's rude I mean it's one thing to give con um to give uh, constructive criticism and say I like the way that that you do that um maybe try this maybe try that but when someone says you go on and on too long about the same thing and you need to make your videos shorter because I like it drives me nuts and not like that was abusive and I can spot that shit a mile away all right let's see oh okay ace of swords king cups oh boy you know when I look at this king of cups on here I don't know he creeps me out okay he looks pissed off right 
Look at that face. I know you can't see it because it's kind of blurred, but it just looks like he's like the death stare. Anyway, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus. Okay, let me see here. So you've got a water sign coming in. But actually, this um, water sign is not looking at anyone. He's looking down at the water. He's in deep thought. This person is a deep thinker. Very philosophical. Um, speaks in parables. This person kind of has a way when they communicate. Um, They speak like very spiritual, they have a very spiritual way that they communicate, like when they talk to you. They might, you'll meet this person and um, for some of you, this is going to be January of 2022, okay? So just, you know, don't get upset, just go enjoy the holidays, okay? Um, I feel like this person will be coming in January 2022, but you might meet them like... Um, I don't know, some of you spend holiday at church or something, you might meet them there, okay? Um, if not, I know some of y'all are going to be going to church because <laughs> you're going to meet your person. <laughs> All right, so wait, let me take a look here. This person is either a professor or a teacher or they, they're they like some kind of a pastor of some sort very very spiritual very well educated okay this is what i need you to know very much single but it's definitely someone who follows the rule of law do you know what i mean like morals principles that kind of stuff very uh, victorious in their communication so everything this person will say to you when you speak to them it's all about you're a winner you're amazing you're blessed you're like they're very feeling very emotional type of person and they just they speak life and truth into people when they talk to them very uplifting kind of an energy so there you go there's the sun Positive energy, very uplifting, like I said. Okay. It's definitely a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, wow. Okay. The three of Wands. Oh, there's you, Virgo, male or female. This person. This person is waiting on you. And so for those of you who are like, you're not going back to the past. Um, I will say for some of you, if you, this could be your past person. Okay. I, I am going to throw that out there, but that's, I'm not going any further with that because you've already had your reading for the singles. This feels like this person um, has big plans in their life. Okay. They're looking for their other half to make that four of wands this person believes in traditional marriage uh, very responsible some type of an energy person you know um, very much a leader but they lead from behind in other words they instill self-esteem and positivity in people around them so that they empower people so that people become empowered to lead right this person does not wish to take the lead they would rather in infuse joy and self-confidence in others okay um it's just their way it's just their, they just have a way of making you feel like you're important they do this with everybody okay but it comes from it doesn't come from a place of manipulation. It comes from spirit. It comes from like, like when you talk to this person, this person will tell you, Jesus loves you. You can do anything you want. This person will say, God's got your back. This person will tell you, you know, you're worth, um, you're worth gold. You're worth all the gold in heaven. Like that's kind of how they are, right? Um, even spiritual principles like, 
they could speak any any religion any whatever religion um, or any spiritual principle whatsoever they're just a very po they're like a walking positive meme you know the memes that you see on instagram or whatever where it's all positive that's this person pretty amazing kind of a person all emotions all emotions all watery but <clears throat> stable very stable very grounded january feels like a really important some of you might work with this person but this person's very consistent you know they work very hard um they believe in putting the effort in and being consistent like i really like this person's energy for you virgo okay and they have a lot of plans and ideas i feel like They, you may meet them and they're in the process of either rebuilding their business or building a business. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. A brick and mortar. Wow. So this person um, has like, oh, they could be building like a, a church or some sort um, or a place they speak. This is definitely some kind of a business, like um. A brick and mortar business it's they may be online they may do business online but now it's moving to an actual shop or a store in a town something nice it could even be like um i just heard like like a spiritual shop you know where you go in and buy candles and incense and books and um There's yoga. Maybe they have like a, a spiritual, like a yoga shop or something. I'm feeling like like a very, like a California sunny, sunny veil. I heard. Is there a sunny veil or a sunny I don't know if it's California or sun, the city sun, sun city or something. Um, but it has like that vibe, you know, like free. A free and hot and warm area, okay? Um, let's get a couple more to see. Now, listen. There you go. That's what I was saying. This person wants to be married. This is somebody who lives near your home. They could be building their business in some city that's like in a sunny hot place or the name sun is in the city or the town but this is someone near home they're not going to be traveling you're not going to be on the road and meet this person they live where you live let's try one more okay we have the five of wands okay oh yeah four of swords uh, this person, they're not, they're, they, they want peace. This person does not really like drama. They better not watch your videos, Virgo, because <laughs> this person is like, they would rather, while well, everybody else is doing some whatever, uh, this person's more like praying in the back, right? They're not competitive. They would rather, they probably don't even play any kind of sports if it's a male or even female. They don't compete. In anything this person's more like they might even just sit back and smoke weed and just you know look at the stars this person is just really like relaxed very calming um peaceful very easygoing someone that is just relaxing someone that you could just be around and you just feel good around them right they don't start trouble them uh, they're praying for people who start trouble look <laughs> People, everyone around them in their life or in the world that has conflict or challenges that your person's like laying down on the mat praying that the world will heal and everybody get better and i'd like to give the world a coke and keep you satisfied is that the is that the song that just where did that come from oh my god oh okay that was you know what you guys that database i'm not kidding that i just pulled that out of i don't even know i know some of you are young and you're like what is that song oh trust me look it up google it that's an old commercial 
I like to give the world a Coke and eat it. I can't remember the words, but that's your person. <laughs> like, everybody just have a Coke, sit down, relax, let's have fun, let's just be happy. All right, Virgo, you're going to meet this person if you haven't already met them. Some of you I know, you're like, I already know who that is, which is cool. Gosh, sometimes these readings, I'll tell you what. So um, I'm going to leave your reading there because, oh my gosh, it's getting too long. I'm just kidding. I couldn't care less. I will see you guys tomorrow, obviously. And um, I didn't get around to, today I didn't have time to choose the moderator so hopefully i'll be able to do that tomorrow but definitely be before the first all right you guys thanks for being here don't forget to hit like share you don't have to hit share share if you want but definitely like and subscribe we'll see if we can't get to um 20 000 subscribers by the end of this month that would be really really awesome so please do share it let everybody know all your virgo friends and tell them to come and join in the chat and uh yeah that's it, you guys. All right. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.